Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me today. So today I have another real-time video for you of a drawing I just finished. So this is a cassowary and I drew him in colored pencil on white paper. So today you're, get, you're going to be seeing the process of drawing the blue skin on the neck, which is very interesting to draw. But before we move on to the drawing, I want to introduce you to our new family member and studio assistant, Louis the cat. So we have adopted him about one month ago and he really had to get used to us and his new home. He was very scared, but now he's doing very well and we're really enjoying him. He's a very nice, very sweet, friendly cat and very cute. So maybe you'll see him in more videos from now on. So let's move on to materials. So I'm working with Fabricastel Polychromos on Canson 1557-180 grams paper. Next to that, I'm also using a Tombow Mono Zero eraser and a white jelly roll pen and also Faber-Castell Color Grip Sharpeners. So that is it. I hope you'll enjoy this video. The full real-time process of the whole drawing can be found on my website in the Drawing Club membership. If you want to sign up, have a look at the link in the description. You'll get access to all real-time lessons I have created in the past four years. So if you're interested, have a look below. So let's move on to the video now. All right, so let's get going with the neck and the body of this bird. So the neck and the body have some beautiful accents to them. So we have the feathers on the back that look very, very long. It's more fur-like. And then the neck has that bluish, uh, very blue actually, blue skin on there with some red accents right here in the corner. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to build up. So let's get started with the neck. And again, we're going to be working from light to dark. But first, I want to lighten up the sketch lines with the kneaded eraser. And then map out all the most important wrinkles in there. We also have these, these flaps, I'm not sure what you call them, hanging at the bottom of the neck, which is very interesting. All right, so I'm going to get, let's do a medium toned blue. Let's do a cobalt blue greenish, 144. This blue has a greenish undertone to it. It will fit nicely with the turquoise color that we're using for the base tone. So let's sharpen that. And with that, I'm going to map out the most important shapes that I see. Um, so we have these flaps starting right there. I'm going to very lightly map that out. Then there are two, so this is one. And then number two is right there on the other side a bit. And then you can see them separating. And then we have some shapes on the neck right here. Some wrinkles underneath the chin area. And I'm also very lightly outlining the edges of the neck. They're quite light on the photo, but again, I'm going to go a little bit darker with the drawing. And then here we have that area where the red knobs start. I'm going to sketch out the edges, going over my outlines with graphite. And 
getting an idea of the different shapes. And the most important wrinkles. And then I'm going to go along my lines and create shadows instead of lines. Oh, also I need to sketch out the inner curve super lightly. get a bit of an idea doesn't need to be perfect yet so all these tiny wrinkles in the skin we're going to be adding in later I'm just focusing on the most important big shapes and then right here is where the feathers start the long feathers so I'm going to map that out by drawing into them with different individual lines instead of drawing one straight line. Okay, so that's it. So let's start with the base layer. So you can see right here underneath the chin, the skin is quite dark. So there I would start out a little bit darker and then the rest of the neck has that turquoise hue again. So there I would start with the light cobalt turquoise 154 combined with the sky blue 146 again. And then the other blue colors we're going to use is this same um, cobalt blue greenish 144 then also some darker ones so this one is really nice helio blue reddish 151 and then of course the indanthrene blue 247 and the dark indigo 157 and Maybe we need something in between. Some slider, lighter one, the Thalo Blue 110. So I think we'll get pretty far with this selection of blues. All right, so I'm going to start with the base layer. Let's do Cobalt Blue Greenish 144, the color I started with. And do a bit of a base layer underneath the neck right here very or underneath the chin very lightly because I'm going to be adding more colors on top of this this is to indicate that this is a slightly darker section I'm starting out with a slightly darker blue but by doing a very light under layer I can always add some more color on top of this Same goes for this little shadow area going around these flap thingies and right here it's also quite dark holding the pencil quite diagonally and flat on the paper drawing small circular motions
And I'm also going to go into this little area. So we're building up from light to dark. Here and there, the overall tone of the skin is quite dark blue, but somewhere right here, you can see the more greenish undertone, the lighter undertone in the skin. And of course, these wrinkles are quite heavy. They are quite prominent, so they pop forward, they get highlighted. So that's why you also get the, the brighter color there. So there I don't want to start off too dark. So right now I'm going to switch right away to the lightest color, the light cobalt turquoise 154 and take that down. So we already started with that on the next. I'm going to take that down. Small circular motions. And that add that over the whole neck area. On these flap thingies as well. Okay, so let's switch to sky blue 146 and go over that, over the whole neck area again. Let's go along these outlines. Eventually we don't want to see a dark outline. And again, this is going to take some patience. Colored pencils always a very time consuming medium. But I'm going to keep it slow. We'll get to the very bottom area later. Let's focus on purely the neck for now. All right, so that's good. So the whole area is now covered with a light base layer. So now we're going to slowly work towards the darker tones. So let's go for the slightly darker blue now. The Thalo Blue 110 also has a greenish undertone to it.
This might even be a little bit too dark. It shows up very dark on top of this, but I want a more vibrant blue. This one's not very vibrant. Actually, I'm going to go look for another one to use. I'm going for a middle Thalo blue, 152. One shade lighter than the normal Thalo blue, but it looks much lighter actually. I'm going for this one. So let's sharpen that. Yes, so that's much better. Darken up slightly. Still very light pressure. I'm going to skip the parts that look really, really light, like here on the edge of the neck. I'm also looking at where the skin looks more green. So it's mainly here in the corner behind the cheek. And then on this little chin area right here. And everywhere where the skin looks green, I'm going to add this. Because it has a greenish undertone to it. Also going to darken up these shadows a bit. And these wrinkles. Alright, so I'm going to accentuate the amount of the turquoise where the skin is light and green. So I'm going to thicken the layers there. Then I'm going to move on with adding some of the darks. So back to the light cobalt turquoise of 154. And I'm going to add it right here. You can already feel the paper starting to fill up, which is no problem in the lighter um, areas. Adding a little bit more pressure, also holding the pencil slightly more um, vertical. Let's look at all the green parts. It's really nice to have that difference between the green hues and then the more purplish hues in the skin. Give it a lot of variation. bigger highlights in the skin, like right here in the center, we can pull out with a kneaded eraser. So 
I'm not going to worry too much about the highlights at the moment. Just want to fill up the skin nicely. All right, so that's enough for the green. I want to start glazing a little bit of violet in before starting with the darker blue. So we see a lot of purple right here in front and also right here in the center. So let's take the violet and add that in lightly underneath the chin. So now we can really create a difference between the greenish areas and the more purple areas. All right, so some shape is starting to appear. Let's move on to a darker blue. So I'm going to do um, Helio Blue Reddish 151, especially right here underneath the beak. It's very, very dark. Maybe I need even a little bit of black for that. First, let's start with this blue. Combined with the violet, it creates more like a, a muted tone towards brown a little bit. Going into the darkest nooks and crannies, like in between these flaps. Enhancing the darker wrinkles. Okay, so I'm going to take in Dantherine Blue. Uh, that's this one, 247. And look at the darkest flaps now. Starting with these underneath the chin area. Using a bit more pressure now, otherwise it doesn't show up that well. Now we can really start darkening up the 
darkest wrinkles using the ones we mapped out with the lighter blues as a guide. Just taking my time for this. We can also enhance wrinkles by using a slightly lighter blue. Make some areas more vibrant looking here and there. So I'm back to the, the cobalt blue greenish 144. I never use these colors, so I don't know them um, on the top of my head yet. I know all the other colors, but these ones I forget. So I have to do a couple more drawings with them before I know them by heart. use this to create some more subtle wrinkle wrinkles accentuate the bumps in the skin
Okay, so we're getting there. Alright, so I do want to use, add a little bit more violet right here in the center before I do some burnishing. And in front as well, right there in between the flaps. All right, so now we can do a bit of burnishing. So the whole area has a nice thick layer on. So let's smooth this out with the Caran d'Ache luminance and then go in with the final details. Make sure it's nice and sharp. Burnishing the individual areas. So let's do these flaps. And do the center right here not using too much pressure because maybe I want to go in and go over again with some of the colors also blending per wrinkle a little bit I don't want to go over the darker lines and shadows too much because I don't want to lighten them up. All right, so you can still see some of the paper texture. That's no problem. First, before we go in with the final darks, um, let's put in some highlights. So now I'm going to take the Tombow Mono Zero Eraser and do some highlighting with that. So we don't have any super bright highlights on here. So I wouldn't use the jelly roll for this part. So instead do an eraser and then you can do some more subtle, uh, subtle highlighting. There it is. So Tombow Mono Zero Eraser, very handy thingy. So I always use a um, knife on it though. 
So with a Stanley knife, I'm cutting it off to a diagonal tip and then you have a very nice point to work with for some very detailed highlights. So I see the most highlights right here in the center. The skin is very bumpy, so I'm erasing out some of these bumps. And they don't have to show up super well, just subtle. I do have to use some pressure and then eventually you'll notice that the tip is getting more dull. So then I take the knife again and cut it off. You have to be careful though to not cut your finger. And this way you can really enhance the shape of the wrinkles. Okay, so that's enough for now. And then I'm going to go back in and darken up even more. So I'm going to take dark indigo now. That's going to be mainly right here underneath the chin area, where it's the darkest. It's number 157, by the way. And just behind the cheek, right there. Only in the very darkest areas, so not too much of this. And then let's go back in with a slightly lighter blue. The Helio Blue Reddish 151. do some more shading with that so I can go around the highlighted parts a little bit accentuate the knobs in the skin the bumps darken up here and there so this part right here is still a little bit flat so let's increase the wrinkliness there
So it's a very time consuming process, but eventually it's rewarding. As long as you keep your patience, it will look really nice. But it does take, it does take way more patience, layering and pressure than pastels. Okay, making sure I don't forget any areas, that all areas are equally detailed, so we don't have, we don't want to have one flat area and then one area with super details and wrinkles, so the center section is still a little bit too flat, I'm going to add a little bit more texture in there, some wiggly lines.
right, so that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching the process of creating this cassowary skin. This is such an interesting animal. I've been wanting to draw one for a long time. Um, he has really nice colors and details. So this is the end result. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to watch the full process, have a look on my website and sign up for, for the drawing club membership. And then if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And then I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.